All right, all you spooky website game playing champions out there, welcome back to the Indie Radio Arcade. And before we go any further into this show, folks, if next year's amount of shows for October happens to run into any other milestone shows for the Indie Radio Arcade, and if you have a suggestion at home of a terrifying game for me to play that is featured from any of the Nintendo systems, give me a ring, I'll play it, and I'll try to review it by next year, no matter how terrifying it'll be. And I got a feeling some of you at home are probably licking your chops and trying to find one with a spider in it. And for those who are, shame on you. Shame on you. (laughs) But besides people trying to take advantage of my arachnophobia at all times, I think it's time for us to go ahead and check out a couple of these indie flash games that are featured on websites you can access right now for the two-year return edition for this show of Flash Mania. And the first game that we have up comes from the publisher Gamer.com.tw with their game, The Animator. And if you think it's related to the movie Reanimator, nope, not at all. Because this game features you in a graveyard trying to survive several days by using your trusty six shooter to take out zombies that are surrounding you from your right and your left. And this game reminds me strangely enough of Night of the Living Dead, if they had a survival mode with it. And the only tip of advice we have for you for this game, folks, is ammo consumption is key. And go for headshots at all costs, because if you miss and have to reload and the zombies get near you, it will cost you during this game, so make sure you go for the head no matter what. And the next game that we have up comes from the developers Gamer.com.tw with their game, Divine Intervention. And this game automatically reminds me of not only The Exorcist, but a little hint of that movie Legion with that guy with the giant legs that was coming out of that ice cream truck to take out that girl. Yeah, that's what this reminds me of. And the only tip of advice we have for you fans out there for this game that involves you being a priest taking out a multitude of demons is once again, ammo consumption. Because if you're not careful, you will get hit and you will die instantly because this is one of those one-hit games like Crash Bandicoot. So be careful. And the next game that we have up that comes from the publishers, once again, Gamer.com.tw with their game, All Hallows Eve. And this is a game featuring you trying to protect your house from a multitude of zombies for well over 31 days. Which, once again, reminds me of Night of the Living Dead. I would say Night of the Living Dead Part 2, but the fact that you're hiding inside of a house just like they did in the first film, I think we could say it's like the remake version of it. Yeah, we can get away with that. And a tip for you fans out there is to make sure you save your money on the side for better weapons and then try to upgrade your house because trying to protect your house with the starter weapon that they give you, which I think was a BB gun, will come back to haunt you once the bigger zombies start to show up. So save up and get the best gun you can and you should be able to beat this game no problem. And the next game that we have up comes from the publishers ArmorGames.com with their game The Last Stand. And this game features you taking on a whole bunch of zombies while you barricade yourself in to not only try to find survivors, but also new weapons along the way to try to survive and make your way on over to the next town. And this game reminds me strangely enough because the guy looks like the guy from the game, The Last of Us. 
Yeah, that's what this reminds me of. And the only tip of advice we have for you fans out there is to find as many survivors as you can because they can be beneficial during this game to help you out to try to protect the base and to shoot a couple of zombies along the way. So yeah, find some friends and they'll definitely pay you in kind. And the last but not least game that we have up comes from the publishers, and I was about to say developers, but publishers, FreeOnlineGames.com, with their game, 13 Days in Hell. And this game, for some strange reason, reminds me of Doom. Uh, maybe a little hint of a VR version of, I guess... House of the Dead, yeah, there you go. Reminds me a little bit of House of the Dead too. And yeah, the only tip of advice we have for you fans out there, just like we said for the animator, is go for the headshots. Cause the reload in this game takes a little bit of a moment to actually reload. So if you go for a headshot, it'll give you plenty of time to reload your weapons before more enemies come in to try to take you out. So yeah. Definitely go for the head and always remember to reload after taking out each zombie to save yourself some time. You know, a little arcade trick I picked up for my sister and that I implicate on a daily basis. And if you guys want to check out any of these games that we mentioned for this week and try to play them for yourselves, you can head on over to the website only known as FreeOnlineGames.com to check out all of these cool games and their flashlight glory. You know, best way to describe it. And I guess with that said, folks, we might as well head back to this music, and when we return, we'll be back with the Indie Wall of Fame as the Indie Radio Arcade continues right after a word from our sponsors. So don't run out of continues just yet, folks, and stay tuned. 